Hello and welcome to another Dear God Why. I'm Vicky. I'm Sarah. And today our film of truly horrific nature is Devour. Why? Has trippy stuff like that been happening to you? Every goddamn day. Sarah is normally the person who provides us with lovely, lovely cakes, as seen in The Proposition and in Stonehenge Apocalypse, dear God, why? Um, we don't have a cake for Devour, unfortunately, for many, many reasons, but mostly because to try and summarise Devour in a cake, it would have to be half regular Victoria sponge and half stew, with pencils sticking out of the top and covered in a general dosing of what the ever-loving fuck. I did uh, break the rules of the Dear God Why and look this up on Wikipedia beforehand and I was screamed at for it. <laughs> but I've forgotten it all now, so I hope I did think that's okay. Hooray for Alex's memory! I'd love to tell you what this film is about, but I've seen it twice and I still don't know. <laughs> I've seen it three times and I don't know. Aside from it's about Satan. Yes. There's, some of it's about Zane. Yeah, and some of it's about video games. Um, so it's a Republican Party broadcast. Yes. Why does the devil need to use computers or games? Think about it. It's a very effective way to spread a message. I mean, imagine if Hitler had had the internet. I haven't even looked on the back of the box, so this is going to be exciting. But it does have Jensen Ackles at, trying to pretend he's considerably younger than he actually is, which is always entertaining. <laughs> How's it feel to be 21? Well, like I'm on the verge of nothing. That's one of the many horrors we will see in Devour. Describe as a minute and a half sequence of Jensen Eccles lovingly disemboweling a mountain lion. Um, and it continues very much in that vein. <laughs> it was it was going along with fairly average sort of bad horror movie, nothing makes sense, maybe it'll make more sense later kind of thing. And then the pencils happened. I don't think Jensen Ackles had to do a lot of acting in this film because the the he's just got a more and more what the fuck is going on expression on his face, which is going to be pretty much anyone's reaction if they're forced to act in this. By about halfway through, he looks like a man who's gone into a urinal, uh, opened his flies, and just found a bunch of broccoli. <laughs> right at the very beginning, he sees the mountain lion, kills it starts disemboweling it and then he hears a baby crying so he goes off to investigate and finds a woman crying naked in the cabin and he wakes up and is like, oh thank god, it was just a nightmare but it's n he doesn't wake up before he killed the mountain lion, he wakes up after he killed the mountain lion Well thank god I can continue disemboweling my mountain lion <laughs> yes. yes I was kind of disappointed by the second half of the film because we stopped just after the, bit, the pencils, which was amazing but then, we didn't get to see the second corpse. Apparently she mutilated herself, and it was in a kitchen, so I'm guessing, like, egg whisks would have been quite good. Just sticking out of her ears. And then the third guy was driving through a forest, so it was twigs, but... I was kind of disappointed that, that they led with their best... best shot. I still don't understand. <laughs> Those of us who were seeing the film for the first time actually had to stop and explain to Sarah what was going on. Bitch! Haha, <laughs> I've recorded it now. It's going in the thing. <laughs> no! Oh, thanks. It's pretty cuddly. Four times I have seen this movie. Four times its meaning has eluded me. And each time you just notice a different level of I don't want to be here and everyone involved with its eyes. 
Everyone in this movie is basically a bargain basement version of an actor who rejected this movie. The dad is not Tommy Lee Jones. There's a business owner who looks like a potato, <laughs> but is totally not David Cross. Uh, there's a university lecturer who is trying to sleep with people behind the scenes for some reason that he's not Bill Murray, which he was, but he's not. All right, that's enough for today. Thank you. Not Kirsten Dunst. Uh, not Idris Elba, and of course, not Kevin Bacon. If Alan Ackles is a direct relation of Jensen Ackles, that's going to make for a really awkward family reunion when he remembers what shit he was made to do if for the sake of just family. You ungrateful punk. You realize we have sacrificed everything for you here? Which is actually the core meaning of the film. Mm. Satan and family. The main villain of the film is Satan, uh, sort of portrayed as a woman in loads of prosthetics. <laughs> Fingers, knees, horns, everything is made out of demonic penises. Okay, there are spiky bits because it's Satan. I didn't see quite as many penises as Alex there. That, that may be Alex. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Devour. I think overall it deserves two Tommy Wiseaus for overall crapness, uh, three Stonehenge Apocalypses for actors who hate being in the films they're in, and uh, one Zardos for boobs. to devour my sandwich. <laughs>